So we'd like to thank everyone for attending this uh, virtual public hearing, either via teleconference call-in or through our live stream connection. We would like to note that there is no in-person component to this meeting tonight as per Ministerial Order 139. All staff and directors are participating in this meeting uh, as per COVID-19 protocols. I'd also like to advise that this meeting is being recorded for all those participating in tonight's event. I will now pass it over to the chair of the hearing, Director Abram, for further introductions to the hearing. Okay, thank you, Aniko. And I would also like to thank everybody for coming. Thank you to the directors and to the staff. And first of all, I'm going to introduce, that's the word. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Somebody's yeah, okay. we can and we can hear you fine, to, Director Abram. The, the directors in attendance are myself, Jim Abram. I'm your electoral area seed. Um, our vice chair is Brenda Lee, electoral area D director, and Gerald Wally, electoral area uh, area A director. We also have SRD staff providing virtual support. Yeah. Nelson, she's a senior manager, community services. We have John Neal, who's a planner. Edith Watson, who's a senior executive assistant and recording secretary. We have John Schmulin, who's our informa information technology manager. And we have Douglas Sauer, he's our GIS analyst. So all of those folks are here to listen to the wisdom we're going to have bestowed upon us. So first I have a little bit of a script here to read. Um, this public hearing is being held in accordance with the Local Government Act in order to allow the public to make representations to the Strathcona Regional District regarding the following proposed bylaws. Bylaw number 412, which is Quadra Island Official Community Plan Bylaw, Number 3050, amendment number 15, and bylaw number 413, which is the Quadra Island Zoning Bylaw, number 1213, amendment number 135. This hearing is provided to allow the public a formal opportunity to address the electoral area directors. It is not a debate, and it will not be conducted in a question and answer forum. All persons who believe that their interests are affected by the proposed bylaws will be given an opportunity to be heard respecting matters contained in the bylaws. Opportunities will be provided in sequence to those attending the hearing via teleconference line and virtually through the web. For all presentations to be heard impartially, please wait until you are called upon to speak. After this public hearing is over, the director's delegated will present all information received until the close of the public hearing to the SRD Board of Directors. The SRD Board of Directors may, without further notice, make a decision about the bylaws subject to this public hearing. Um, okay, so now I would like to turn it over to John Neal, who will now present the two bylaws that are being amendment, bylaws number 412 and 413. John, if you would like to take the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the purpose of tonight's public hearing is to obtain public input with respect to proposed bylaws 412 and 413 which were prepared in response to an application to the Regional District to amend the Quadra Island Official Community Plan and the Zoning Bylaw. Bylaw 412 proposes to amend the Quadra Island Official Community Plan to redesignate Lot A District Lot 190 Quadra Island Sayward Land District Plan 39818 located at 704 Knoll Road at Kothiaski Cove from rural residential to country residential whereas bylaw 413 proposes to amend the Quadra Island zoning bylaw to rezone the aforementioned from rural to RU2 to country residential to CR2 to facilitate the subdivision of the 2.02 hectare property into two equal parcels. 
The bylaws will refer to First Nations and government agencies for comment. Island Health and the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure had no concerns, nor did the Quadra Island Fire Department. Uh, Thinrod Archaeology has indicated there is no known archaeological site on the property. If archaeological material is encountered during development, developer must stop all activities immediately and contact the archaeology branch for direction. And no comments were received from the First Nations. Proposed bylaws 412 and 413 were given first reading by the regional board at its meeting on November the 18th, 2020, and second reading at the meeting of January 13th, 2021, at which time a virtual public hearing was scheduled for February 10th, 2021, for the purpose of obtaining public input with respect to the bylaws. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you, John. Um, okay, so now at this point, we normally uh, take comments from the public. And normally I ask the applicants that um, are applying for this rezoning to, if they have anything to say to uh, comment on their application, that they now have the opportunity to do so. So I would um, invite Linda and Harley Elias, if they are, you know, so inclined to give us the uh, wisdom of their comments. If you have nothing to say, you don't have to, but it's up to you. So you're on if you want to be on. Well, silence is golden. I'll take uh, silence as being uh, acceptance. So uh, if there are any other participants in the worldwide gallery out there that would like to speak to this rezoning, now is your chance. And I'm not sure how you're doing it, Anico. Do you have phone numbers or do you have uh, just taking callers or what? Yes, thank you, Director Abram. Uh, I don't believe the applicants are wishing to speak this evening. I'm not sure if they're on the call or not. Uh, we have minimal. We, we are we are on the call. Can you hear us? Oh, yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Yes, oh. we hear you, Harley. I apologize. There, our tablet doesn't seem to have a an ability to um, uh, uh, let us do sound, but from the tablet. So I'm talking to you on the phone, and I'm hearing you chatting. Uh, okay. Hey, okay. You, would <laughs> Sorry. You Linda like to say anything, would you Linda like to say anything about your application, or are you fine? Uh, we're we're fine. Um, uh, John kind of outlined pretty much what was what the request was, and uh, we appreciate everybody's time in in making it happen. We're helping us make it happen. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay, Anako, do you have anything lined up? Uh, thank you, Director Abram. Uh, thank you to the applicants for attending tonight and providing uh, limited comments. We will now open the telephone lines to those participants that are participating via teleconference call. If any of those um, participants would like to provide comments, uh, they can press star six to unmute themselves. Once that's done, we will record the last four digits of your telephone number and uh, we will remute you. And once it's your time to speak, we will call out the last four digits of your telephone number. Again, if you are participating via telephone lines, please press star six to unmute yourself. This is the first call for callers. This is the second call for callers participating via teleconference line. Please press star six to unmute yourself. And the final call for callers participating via teleconference line, please press star six.
seeing no callers wanting to make comments this evening, we will now move to those participants viewing via live stream. If you are viewing this uh, public hearing via live stream, you are offered the opportunity to provide comments by calling the toll free number and using the meeting code provided on the screen. Please note that there is a delay for those participants participating via live stream. Once you've called into the number provided and used the meeting code, our team will mute you and record the last four digits of your number. When it is your turn to speak, we will advise you by calling the last four digits of your telephone number. At that point, please press star six to unmute yourself. We'll give about 30 seconds for those participants viewing this public hearing via live stream to call in for public comment. This is the first call for those participants participating via live stream to provide comment. This is the second call for participants viewing the public hearing via live stream to call in and provide comment. Seeing that we're approaching the approximate 30 second time delay for those participants viewing via live stream, I would like to call for comments for the third and final time. Any participants on this meeting that would like to provide comment, please do so now. This is the third and final call for comments. As there are no numbers appearing that would like to provide comments, I would now like to provide the opportunity for this to be passed over to the chair of the public hearing to close the public hearing. Okay, thank you for that excellent uh, performance, Aniko. Uh, this is the close of the public hearing. So I am to advise you of the following that as all participants have been afforded an opportunity to speak, we now, sorry, I got cut off. I'm cut off here on my screen. We will now move to close the public hearing. Following the close of the meeting, the directors will not be able to speak with or have contact with members of the public about matters discussed at this public hearing. So nobody will be able to speak speak to any of us between now and the time that the board disposes of the matter, which will be at our, I believe, our next board meeting in two weeks. So I would like to now, uh, if I had a gavel, I would bang my gavel and say I now declare this public hearing closed and thank all of you very much for coming. Thank you, Linda and Harley, and thank you to all of the staff and my fellow directors for attending the public hearing for Area C. Good night.